So in this video, I'm going to go over my pedal board and making of the pedal board. Um, I love guitar effects and pedals. It is a never-ending quest to find that perfect pedal to go with your sound. Of course, your sound starts with your brain and comes out your hands and goes through your guitar and into the pedals. I look at pedals as like paints that an artist would use. You know, some pedals are going to be like Dolly's paintings, you know, eclectic, eccentric kind of sound. And some pedals are going to be more like uh, Norman Rockwell and it'll be more uh, straightforward and bucolic. So I'm designing yet another pedal board. In fact, it's two different pedal boards for this video. These are all my different designs where all the pedals go and the layout. I obviously know for the most part the path of the pedals sound wise as I've used these pedals in other pedal boards. Now I'm mapping out where each pedal goes. Uh, I've got a number for the uh, flow of the pedals. Obviously, you know, where, where, the, where the signal comes in and goes through them. Um, trying to leave space. I've mapped that pretty well. I'm trying to leave some space for our chords in between. You know, I've got uh, tight chords here, uh, packing the pedals in. Made some space for some plugs to come in. Uh, so that's the part. So I'm gonna be changing from that style of pedal board, which just uh, to this one. The other style of pedal board is just, you know, on a board. But this one here has this little fence around it. Um, basically to protect it, you know, when I'm fly and I go to TSA and I got to take the pedal board out of the case and put it on the little ramp there so they can check it out, make sure it isn't anything evil, which it is. Um, so that's basically the idea. I'm, I'm trying to protect the, you know, the cables and stuff. Also, when I go to festivals and there's like 10 bands, you got to take the pedal board out of the case super fast. You got to move fast and get yourself on and off stage. Um, it just protects it more. It's more efficient. And you'll see those wires up top there by the Ojai sticking out like that. This way with a little fence or barrier, it protects it. So I'll go downstairs and we'll check out what I'm doing down there with the saw. And here I'm cutting all the pieces uh, on the band saw and uh, getting it all exact so everything kind of fits. It's super tight to fit all these pedals in there. And I would like to still have it be able to be a carry-on case. I'm working on this thing right here. Uh, super tight little thing on the another fence a little bit shorter than the one I showed you before Whew. All right, so I, I'm, I just sanded the pedal. I'm outdoors. I just oh, it's starting to rain. Great. Uh, I just sanded the pedal board. Here it is. Just, to, just you know, it's kind of rough. There's just edges and stuff. Just a quick little sanding to make it smooth, fairly smooth. You know, uh, it's not a piece of furniture, so I'm not going wild. You know, this is a pedal board. It's gonna be on the stage. It's gonna be ripped off the stage, put on the stage, thrown on in, into a case, you know, so I'm not trying to make it look like a nice piece of furniture. It's for stomp pedals. I'm gonna be stomping on this thing. So I'm gonna check it, double check it with the case and uh, see how it fits in there. You know, listen, I don't have the proper tools. I just use a bandsaw for that thing. I could have used some kind of router to make it nice. Okay, so the uh, second pedal board side of the pedal board fits right into the top of the thing as well. Fits right up there, nice and snug. I don't know if it'll fit on the bottom because it's slightly different things. If you look at the handle to watch out for, and this this uh, stuff over here takes up about an eighth of an inch. And when you're trying to make the pedal board fit for carry on and flights and TSA and all that, every millimeter <laughs> counts, every sixteenth. All right, so I just painted the pedal boards a flat black. Um, looks like they're getting there. There's some, still some wet spots. Probably put the paint on a little bit too thick. So 
So here I'm just kind of going through the pedals and making sure everything fits in the right spot. I haven't Velcroed everything in yet, but I did notice one problem I had. I wanted to, I need to add another hole for a, a cable. So I'm gonna go back downstairs and do that while the pedals are still in there. So that hot hole is probably gonna look a little gnarly, but I'll clean that up. Uh, basically, you know, I found three things that are really important for this project. Uh, I did find a router, so this bit, uh, a medium router thing, a little Dremel, Dremel router thing, it's really come in handy. Um, you know, um, it's, a, it's a custom board. I want it to fit my needs, you know, for live performance. Uh, it's all about experimentation and, uh, and crafting and creating new sounds. So that's what this is all about. Okay, so the pedal board's just about all hooked up. I really wanted a slot for this other little sub and up pedal I have, but I was not able to fit it. Um, right now, I know that some people don't like these things. I have a little connector because I'm not able to go out to the store and buy another effing cord for this. So I had to connect two little patched cables together with this. For now, uh, this is the only spot that the pedal boards are hooked together by this. So basically, okay, so here's a signal. Uh, and I told you about this thing here. This, this will change once I can go back out to the store, which could be three months, who knows. So that the uh, signal comes out of the guitar, into here, into my preamp, into this BBE. It's a kind of a compressor-like thing, but I use this other um, TC Electronics compressor. Out of that, all over here to my wah, I have it on this side for placement because it's close to my loop pedal. And then that goes into the octave pedal, which I use a lot. This is another type of octave harmony kind of pedal I use a little bit. Uh, this is a little uh, EQ pedal that I use a lot. Distortion. It's a super metal distortion. It's basically the best small distortion pedal I can find now that sounds good with my acoustic golden guitar. A lot of distortion pedals I've tried there might much better, you know, boutique pedals don't really work with that golden. I don't know why, I just, I just don't. Uh, next, that goes into this little pitch box. I have a lot of octave pedals, don't I? Um, this one is sort of like, a, I kind of use it, it's got a sort of a chorus -y type sound. This goes into my Strymon Blue Sky. Those pedals are amazing. And so that goes out of there, back to the signal chain, through to this pedal board. Um, uh, because the loop pedals are the last one on the signal. Loop pedal, my other loop pedal, to the mixer. Oh, I forgot about this guy. I got this guy too. Both pedal boards have uh, Strymon Zuma power supplies that have about nine inputs for pedals. And they use the, uh, what is it? What is it? AIC, I think they call these cables. The regular uh, power cable, like so, like that one, you know? Uh, that way it's easy to use for Europe because you can just get the ones for Europe for a different plug. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this page. Check out Guitar Me of One and French in the Punk. There's a new Guitar Me of One record coming out early 2021. I'll see you soon.